In this video, I will show you how to install packages to augment some of the functions that come along with R after installation. If you recall, functions are part of R's language that do the operations of data science. There are plenty of functions that come along with R, and these are oftentimes called base R. Now, you can also write your own functions. This is a much more advanced topic, but if you wanted to write a function that performs a special operation that is going to be important for your workflow, you can do this. Now, the good thing is that if you write a function and it turns out that somebody else wants to use that function, you can share that function with them. One of the best things about R is that it has a thriving ecosystem to share functions that other people have written. These functions then can perform a wide variety of different operations. And the way that people share these functions with one another are through something called packages. Packages are going to contain data sets, functions, documentation, and several other help pages that can be wrapped up and then allowed for other people to install them in their version of R. These packages are the way that people can share their functions that they write with other users of R. Now, another way to describe functions is to think of them like verbs. So verbs are going to then act on our data. So for example, we are going to do this, and remember, the parentheses are going to be key here, to that. The thing that we do is going to be the function, and the thing that we do it to is going to be, in this case, an object. Oftentimes, functions have arguments that are going to specify exactly what you want to do to your, um, to your object. So in this case, we can do this to that using these other things. These functions then are going to be a wide, wide variety that can perform all sorts of operations on different objects. But again, the easiest way to think of this is to think of them like verbs. And when we think of these packages now, they are going to have these functions, these verbs, as well as documentation and data. So one package that we'll get into a little bit later is a package called Deplier. So Deplier has a couple of different functions that will become incredibly useful and important. And these are verbs with very intuitive names. You can see a verb like mutate or select or filter. When we see the function filter, we can automatically start thinking, aha, we are going to then start filtering some of our data. So when we're thinking now about these packages that are going to augment our base R, we can start thinking about the different types of operations that we can do in order to carry out data science. Where can we download these packages? It turns out we download them in the same place that we downloaded the R programming language, the comprehensive R archive network. When we navigate to this website, we can see that there are thousands of different packages that contain even more functions within those packages. In fact, we have approximately 15,000 different packages within this network, and it's growing. So how then do we install some of these packages from this network? Well, fortunately, base R has a function that is called install.packages. When we type this in, this is a function, it's a verb, it's going to then install a package, and if we type in the package name exactly as it is with the appropriate capitalization and lowercase letters, after that, in parentheses, we can then install a package that automatically gets downloaded, unpacked, and installed into your computer. The important thing to remember is we do this one time per computer. The easiest way to think of this is similar to a mobile phone. Your mobile phone has several apps on it. When you want to add a new app to your mobile phone, what you need to do is you need to go to your app store or wherever you get your apps from, and you download that app one time. And when you download that app, it installs it onto your mobile phone. The same thing is true for accessing packages and installing them onto your computer to use with R. Now, if you change computers, you need to then reinstall those packages. Just like if you upgrade your phone, you're going to need to reinstall the apps that you want 
on your phone at that time. So you need to do this. You need to install your packages or you need to download your apps one time uh, per computer. Now, in order to use that package, we need to launch that package or we need to load the library or load that package. We do this with a different function. This function, also a verb, is going to be library, parentheses, and then the package name. So when we are starting a new R session and we're loading up the environment that we want to do our data science within, we need to load the libraries that then are going to allow us to have access to those functions. Again, if we use this mobile phone analogy, we've already downloaded the app to the mobile phone. But if we want to use that app, if we want to, let's say, check the weather, we need to launch that weather app so that we have access to the data of the current weather. It's the same thing with loading a library. So we need to load that library so everything is active and running. Now, this is going to be an important distinction. Installing a package is going to be different than loading that package so that you can use it. So with this in mind, you are now equipped to have access to thousands of useful packages that have been made publicly available by dedicated and devoted developers to help you on your data science journey.